one of the things that I've done to sort of um, get some aspects of polar bear science to uh, readers who might not pick up a science book was to write a novel. Um, and that novel's called Eaton, and it's a polar bear attack thriller. And it's set in Newfoundland in the year 2025. And in it, I pose the question, you know, what would happen if polar bears were short of food out on the ice when they really need it in the spring and they realize that there are people on shore that they could eat instead of seals. And it's just an exploration um, of, of really how important that spring feeding period is for bears and how vulnerable, really, some of the coastal communities in the Arctic and subarctic are to polar bears, who are, in fact, incredibly dangerous predators. Yes, and one of the other um, books that I've written um, is a book for children, and it's called um, F Polar Bear Facts and Myths. And it's got lots of pictures and I've set it up in a simple format and it's got the information that children age seven and up really need. They're about that age, they're starting to learn in school about Arctic ecology and so the information is there that they need to understand the context of what polar bears need um, in the Arctic and um, a context for some of the issues that are, that are um, being presented without scaring them to death with, you know, stories about um, polar bears dying. 